Today is Thursday the 17th. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. By the time you're watching this video, it is St. Patrick's Day. However, there is no new news on what is happening yet by the time I'm recording this about Stella Fortuna, about any ship sales, about what's going to be happening during that event, any contests that are going on. I do not know that, but I'm bringing you another Fan Made Friday. It's been about three weeks since my last Fan Made Friday and I showed you a website where you could get from any location. So if you are, say, at Arkel one or, you know, Microtech and you want to get to the Aaron Halo, how to get to the Aaron Halo. However, uh, the day I posted that, somebody on Spectrum, their name was Pitan, Pitan, uh, you know, I'm messing up their name. I really apologize. Uh, let's go with Pitan. Let's go with Pytan. I like Pytan better. Hopefully I got it right. If your name is not Pytan, I do apologize. Uh, I do know you're watching this because I'm going to send you a message on Spectrum about this video when I made it out because I think this is awesome. They made a, a tool for getting to the Air and Halo. And unlike getting there from, say, CRU L3 or any of the Lagrange points or any of the planets, you can get to the Air and Halo from anywhere in the verse. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of flying in the middle of nowhere. So I've been flying kind of in the direction of uh, Microtech Lagrange 3. Now I'm going to go out of my uh, my view there. I'm going to actually reset it. We're going to kind of go into a new direction. Where should we go? Let's just go to head to R Corp. Kind of go on a random angle there. Going to fly for a bit. And definitely get ourselves all messed up. We're not anywhere where we have a predetermined direction to get to the air and halo. And this is awesome. This is my new go-to way to do some mining. So if you want to do some mining, or you want to do some salvage, you want to get to the air and halo, which if you saw my last video was massive. It's great. You don't have to worry about anyone else finding you because it's such a big location. You're able to get there from wherever you happen to be. You're just flying around. You just finished the mission. You're in the middle of nowhere. Or you've just decided to drop out of, of the, the jump and you just want to see where you can go. So let's say that. That looks pretty good. We're kind of randomly in the middle of nowhere here. Quite good. So I'm going to clear my route. All right. And so now there have been some issues with uh, ships with 3.18. So it has been kind of hard for me to do a lot of the stuff that it requires ships. That's why I'm in my Nomad here. I'm not going to be doing anything with a Vulture, anything with a Prospector. I'm just happy to have a ship that I can fly around. So there's two ways you can do this. One is to just basically triangulate your position with three locations. So you just choose three random locations. Uh, I'm going to choose, let's say, Serial UL5. So Serial UL5, we have click there. From where we are, if we look up here, we are 28, 70, 25, 19. So we'll write that down. 28, 70, 25, 19. And that says Sierra UL5. Next one we're going to go, doesn't matter which, just going to go here. We'll go Arc L5. And we're going to go 30, 72, 61, 56. And we've got to choose a third one, Arc L4. And that'll be. 20, 49, 97, 11. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the website and you can see the link to this website in the link below. But we're just going to go over there now and on here we're going to choose our first one which is Sierra UL5 right there. We're going to put in the distance to that. It was 28, 70, 51, 19. Next, we're going to go, we did Arc L5. Why is there no, oh, there it is. How did I miss that? I don't know. I'm having a little bit of an issue here. Arc L5, that would be 30, 72, 61, 56. And then our last one will be Arc L4. And that one is going to be 20, 49, 97, 11. 
Now, that is the location to where I'm at. If I move just a slight amount, those are all going to be different. This is pinpointing exactly where I am in the verse. Now it goes, where do I want to go in the halo belt? Well, if I want to go to band 5, I click band 5. Now it says target, microtech, like range 5, and drop out at a distance of 23,396,000. So I'm going to go back into the game. And in the game, we are now going to target microtech L5. Where is that? Where is that? Why can I not see it? Do, do. Oh, it's right over here. Microtech L5. We're going to set the route. We're going to aim to it. And how far away is it? We look at it at 33 million, and we need to go to we're dropping out at 23. So we're going to aim at that. And we're going to start flying towards Microtech L5 and go. Now, this is the harder way to do this. There is actually an easier way to do that. And I'm going to show you that after we drop out of warp and see this uh this location that this this location this distance worked so i'm just gonna be watching my uh my distance here you can see we're at 33 million 33.4 when it gets to 23.4 or 23.39 but 23.4 we're good enough i'm just gonna hold b that's gonna drop us out and you can see that we are in the air and halo in band five all right, coming up on 24 million, 23, 23.5, 23.4. And there we go. We've dropped out, and we are in the air and halo. Turn off our jump drive, and look at all these asteroids around here. Nobody knows where we are. If we look here, this is where we are. We are in the middle of nowhere. No one's going to find us. And if I hit tab here and look around, look at all these pings that I could be looking for. Go check out. Some of these will end up being ships. Some of these will end up being asteroids. And we can get on to work doing some money making. So this is awesome. Very happy with this. Very happy indeed. There's a rock right there. So lots to do. Easy to go. But this is by no means the easiest way to get to the, the air and halo. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to fly to a new location. We're going to choose a RAM location. And when I get there, I'm going to show you uh, an, another way to get to the air and halo belt. So I'm going to go maybe, uh, where should I head to? Clear the route. Why is this not working? There we go. Oh, all these. Oh, those are the, uh, those are, oh. What is happening? Well, I'm going to get there. There's still some issues I'm having with, you know, this new version. But we're getting there. So we're going to fly to this location. We're going to get there. And then once I'm kind of closer to Hurston, LaGrange 4, I'm going to stop before I get all the way there. And we're going to show you the fastest way to use this program. And this is what makes this the most powerful and awesome way to get to the air and halo belt. Okay, so coming up close now to HOR L4, I'm going to stop a little bit out of the way. So we can see here we are about 5 million kilometers away. Far enough not to really worry about finding anyone. What I'm going to do is find my location in by far the easiest way in the game. You hit enter and open up the chat. So I have to open global chat. Hit enter and type show location. Enter. And it appears nothing done. I'm going to hit F12, turn off global chat again. It appears nothing's happened. But when you type backslash show location, what you actually do is you take your location and you copy it to your clipboard. So now I'm going to go back again into this website. And instead of being on the select and select these three, I, I'm on paste here. I hit here. I'm going to paste in there. And there are my coordinates. It has made my X, Y, Z coordinates in space exactly right down to looks like six decimal places and then I'm gonna go I don't want to go to band five anymore let's go to band three because sometimes choosing a smaller band is a bit better because that smaller band allows you to um, to find asteroids better without having a lot of extra asteroids to fly around but you can see here if I choose a different band so if I choose band nine it's a 27.19 million away band three 28.335 million away, but I'm going to go to Microtech Lagrange 2. So back into the game. Oop, I have to put the image back up. 
so back in here, we're going to go to Microtech L2, which is this one on the other side of Microtech. For some reason, this chose us to aim at that one. And we're going to stop at 28.335 million or more or less to get to band 3. So we set the route here. Now, the one thing you have to be careful is you have to have enough, uh, enough Quantanium to make the jump. If you don't have enough Quantanium to jump all the way from where you are to here, even though you only want to go this far, it's going to not allow you to set that destination. But we've got it. We're okay. We're going to put our Quantum Drive on. We're going to aim towards Microtech Lagrange 2. And that's 36.44 million kilometers away. And we want to stop at 28.335. 29 million kilometers at 28. We're going to have to stop at 28.33. A little bit slow there, but... That's all right, because the Aaron Halo is so massive that look at that, we are in a new belt. Now, belt three, you can see, is slightly less dense. There's so many asteroids around here, uh, but not nearly as much as what we were just seeing. But if I hit tab and put a little beam here, you can see there's still mineable rocks that you can find, but you're not having so much around that it's maybe easier sometimes to find what you're looking for. I haven't really t spent a lot of time in the belt uh, looking to see if there's certain things to find in certain belts versus others but this is again a great way to mine or salvage in peace now i have found a couple ships in the belt so they are around somewhere but if you're doing uh, salvage you may still have to go to lagrange points but here you can see we have an asteroid there and we can just hit tab and see if there's any more around currently no but i would just fly for a little bit and and find something else to, to mine so that's it now you can Go, if we go back to the website, you can actually exclude different waypoints. That's pretty awesome too because say if you have a, a location that you like to uh, you like to refine at, like say I like refining at Faithful Dream, which is over here, I would maybe exclude waypoints so that I'm aiming towards uh, this, this location here when I'm flying this way to go into the belt so I can get back to where I want to go quicker. It is pretty powerful, but this is my new go-to for finding my way into the Halo belt, and hopefully it is something that you thought was really useful. And to uh, Python, thank you for making this. This is amazing. I'm definitely happy that this went out. I just kind of wish that it, you had posted that post two days earlier so I could have put it with my original uh, Halo belt uh, Fam Aid Friday. Took me three weeks, but I finally got around to, to showcasing this awesome thing. So thank you for supplying such a great tool to the community and to anyone else. If you'd like to check it out, I put a link in the description below. If you'd like to help me out and if you want to see more stuff like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and showcasing of some awesome things made by the community. If you know something that's made that I haven't talked about that you think is kind of cool that someone's done, whether it's story, something uh, like a machinima artwork, no matter what it is, I would like to see it. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you soon in the verse. Goodbye, everyone.